Did you see his comments about Todd Bowles and why he chose now to do this? I did. I did. And it seemed it it seemed strange because, you know, earlier on uh, Straight Shooting last week, uh, our buddy Dylan was hosting that show with me because our buddy Matt was out of town and we were talking about Arians retiring. And we thought we were like, OK, this would be a great time to put one of the hottest coaching candidates in for Bruce Arians and Byron Leftwich. And then we hit end record and it was like Bruce Arians stepping down so that Todd Bowles can take over. And it was just kind of like a head scratcher kind of moment, right? Um, the whole scenario around like he's stepping down for the transition process seems more, in my opinion, like coverage rather than it does actual reasoning, if that makes any sense. It just seems oh, like it's so, absolutely. And I, go back to, and I go back to, you know, you were talking about the AB situation, which there's a lot of like controversy even around that whole thing with text messages and, and all of that. But even I go to like the way that Brady kind of ran the show in New England. He comes down to Tampa Bay and wants to run the show, like you said, but even like small things where things can kind of seem to spin out of control, where Brady's like, I'm not sitting on the bench. I'm going in and I'm throwing a pass to Gronk so that he hits this contract bonus, right? Those kind of little things as a head coach probably just, like you said, just chiseled away at the stone a little bit further and further until it cracked. Now, do we know that there's drama going on? Do we know that there's, you know, it's all unsubstantiated. But it does seem strange, very strange. Well, if, if you follow the logic you kind of piece together that Arians and Brady just did not love working together. And whether Arians ultimately decided to leave the coaching position because Brady may come back, or whether Brady, a condition of him coming back, was Arians not being the coach, it's really kind of semantics because at the end of the day, despite what's being said publicly, you really can start to make assumptions about their relationship. And I want to look at it just from a simple the things that they've said don't match up with the actions that have happened. If you look at Bruce Arians, all the things he said about Todd Bowles and how now is the time he has Tom Brady, it's a great transition year, don't leave him with a, a rebuilding team. Well, you could have did that last year if your health was a concern right. and if you wanted to step out of coaching. We know that the Glazers, the Tampa Bay Bucks, are honoring his contract in his new role. They're still going to pay him the same. So it's not like, oh, he wanted a coach for the money. So you won a Super Bowl. And if you really were that concerned, you could have done this last year while Brady's right. contract wasn't up and pending retirement wasn't even a possibility because you knew he was running it back. So that doesn't really pass the smell test. Then you look at Bolt, or sorry. Then you look at Arian's comments when he was coming back and the things he said about coaching this year and how right. vehement he was that he was going to coach this year and possibly beyond. Now all of a sudden he's ready to just pass the torch, coincidentally right. a couple weeks af after Brady retired. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense.